With that daily routine that is now email, e-communication, social media, there's been a glorious feature added. Do you like the unsubscribe? I love it. What if you could apply that to your personal life? Wouldn't that be great? One of our favorite dad bloggers is back. Rich Bracken's here with some tips to protect your time and your emotions in this new year. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Happy New Year to you. To you too. Thank you. The thing about the, the digital media world now is that stuff can get away from you before you know it. Oh, agreed. And there's so many plugins now. You know, we've got email, we've got text messages, we've got social media. Uh, take your pick on that side. So there are so many ways to get to us. But the, you know, like you said, the beautiful thing is that there's now the unsubscribe or the unfollow feature that lets you filter what you, what comes to you. So that was where I started looking at how does that apply to real life? Because I started as I was unsubscribing from certain right. communications, I thought. You know, there's a few people I'd like to unsubscribe from as well. <laughs> so I started thinking about how can I do that? And it's really, it's, it's changed my life. Okay, you've got some four specific points. Let's start with the first one. What is that? So it's basically, um, it goes back to establishing how people talk to you. So it's, I don't want to receive this communication anymore. And, you know, we go through life just kind of being polite and letting mm -hmm. people talk how we think they should talk. And, you know, sometimes we let that rain down on how we view ourselves. And so by saying, you know what, that's, I don't want to, I don't want to receive this communication anymore. I don't you to talk to me like that anymore so I'm setting my boundaries I'm, I'm unsubscribing or unfollowing your rhetoric how do you would you say something to them is it a mental approach it's a mental approach but I think it's also a verbal approach so if it's a communication that we're having and you've just com you know, completely started changing my attitude and my person my view on myself mm -hmm. I can say you know what Lauren that's enough I don't deserve to be talked to that way and I'm not gonna let you talk to me that way so I'm you know I wouldn't say I'm officially unsubscribing from you but I'm unsubscribing from the way you think about me Okay, what's the next one? So the next one is uh, really getting into more around, I, I didn't sign up for this. I right. don't, don't want to deal with this. And I, I talk on my blog about the Eeyore effect. And it's usually the people that want to rain their negativity all the time. The people that, you know, if they won the lottery, well, now I got to pay taxes. You know, right. it's, they see what's bad they, about they everything. They find the negative in any, anything, in everything. And so we, we tend to want to be that person that's the soundboard and, and the listening. And I'm not saying, you know, ignore those people that have problems. They can but, affect you over time. Oh, oh, oh absolutely. And it becomes a gradual weight that just slows you down in your life. So really pick and choose when you're making yourself available. And if it's somebody who is habitually unhappy for insignificant reasons, mm -hmm. Again, unsubscribe from that and make yourself not available or establish what your boundaries are for availability. Okay, good advice. What's the next one? It's This is the inappropriate, you know, and, and a lot of the times when you sign up for things, um, the, the communication that you get maybe is a little bit inappropriate. Maybe it's, you know, political ads or, or um, inappropriate content. And this goes to how people talk in a very abrasive way. You know, we've had a very, um, a very tumultuous 2016 and oh, there's yeah. been a lot of divisiveness between people, friends, family, just the country as a whole. Mm -hmm. So it's basically saying, you know what, that's enough. And it goes into sexism and misogyny and all the things that we've talked about over the last year. You know, th there is a great time now to stand up and say, that's it. This is not going to be acceptable in our country and not going to be acceptable in our communities anymore to talk like this to people. So, you know, men, women, children, everybody needs to stand up and say, enough enough. You can't talk disrespectfully. You can't talk with hate. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. But if you have those people that continue to do that, check it off. Unsubscribe and unfollow those people. And when you speak up, it, it gets people, it gets their attention. Agreed. Agreed. And you become, you become a great example on how you can stand up and be strong that way. So you may be setting an example for others, be it your children or be it coworkers, be it friends, but you're, you're becoming that example of saying, hey, enough. I'm done with that. Okay, real quick, we have the last one. Let's sure. take a look. Content is not relevant, and this is basically, you know, setting your goals. Everybody has goals, especially yesterday and today. We all have resolutions and goals. If you're not communicating in a way that's pushing you towards your goal, mm -hmm. unsubscribe from that as well. So focus on what you want to do this year. Focus on what you want to do every single day. And if the interactions and the people aren't helping you get there, unsubscribe. Take them out of your life because you've got to you've got to focus on where you're going. There's a straight line to it, and if they're in the way, you just got to take it out. Step to the side. Keep going. Yep. If you'd like to meet, read more from Rich, he has some great advice. His website is enrichyoursoul.org. You can find him on social media, too. It is worth your time to seek it out. You'll enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you.